If Batman doesn't return soon... I know. All bloody hell's gonna break loose. We should work together. He wanted to create the perfect soldier. I was the strongest of them all. I don't trust her. Because I wear this doesn't mean I'm a part of your cult. Call me Batwing. Batwing? That's original. We're just getting started. From here on, it's only family. Hi, this is Mark Morell from Toon Barn, and we're here at New York Comic Con 2015. We're talking about Batman Bad Blood, and I'm here with Phil Barassa, the character designer. Right. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. All right, so Batwoman and Batwing uh -huh. are brand new designs for this film, yes. right? Yes, yeah. Where did you start with these characters and their non-costumed alter egos? Um, so you always start with the source material. You know, I always start by looking at what's been done with them on the on the comic book page. Uh, and you, if you can, you know, if the context is, if, if what's, what's been drawn and how they've been designed in the past is contextually appropriate, um, then we try to do a one-to-one -one adaptation and just, you know, design them, streamline them for animation, but keep what's there. Um, and that was absolutely the case with Batwoman because her look in the comics is striking and it's simple and it was easy to adapt. Batwing is a little different because I don't know that they've found the mark yet with the look. Uh, he doesn't have one specific look from the comics that's like, oh, you got to do that, you know. Um, he's had different looks and we felt like we could play around a little bit. So, we, you know, we, we kind of did our own take on him. What do you say to the people who might say, you know, that looks like a lot like Falcon from, from the Marvel Universe? Um, I don't know. He has wings. He's a black dude. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, he, that, I didn't create the character, but I think he, I don't think he looks like Falcon. Okay. Yeah, so, right. <laughs> you know, if, they, if, if people think that, then, you know. I'm pretty sure he always has wings, or at least the reference I looked at, he has wings, so, okay. yeah. All right. Uh, Damien has filled in well with his Robin costume, right? Yeah. And uh, he looks very young, though, when Alfred is patching him up during this. Was that by design to make him look younger when he's not in the costume? Uh, does he look younger than, than he looks in costume? Yeah. I mean, to me, it, uh, it, no, it wasn't intentional. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... It's just, it, yeah, you mean, know, he's got that mature look in the Robin costume. It's, I met, yeah, certain things with art, I guess, are entirely subjective. But yeah, there was there was no intent there. Right. Yeah, that that's your perception of it, okay. which is totally which cool. cool. Yeah, right. absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. I appreciate you for joining us on Toon oh, Barn. Yeah, my Thank pleasure. You. Thank you so much. Thanks right a lot. All right. Thanks. Enjoy. I figured out the character from all the important angles. All this stuff gets cleaned up or inked. In animation, we call it a cleanup line, which is to take the rough pencil art and put a fine, crisp, confident line over it. So all this inking is done digitally. And at this stage, it's really just about making sure that all the lines are where you want them to be. And they really are containing the shapes and describing the features and the details. I like to make sure that the animators have comprehensive shadow guides for all the main characters. It should look at the end like it's the hand of one artist animating all the characters. We have had a wonderful relationship and a wonderful collaborative spirit working on those characters at Warner Brothers Animation. I hope you guys enjoy the film as much as we enjoyed making it. Thanks a lot.